Yep, otherwise known as Fancy Lad. Also known as Dirty Fingernail Lad. <laughs> dirty Fingernail Lad. <laughs> so, so I never looked at Weez's fingernails. <laughs> so you met... He's too busy looking into his through third eye. Weez. Yeah, because it's kind of funny how it all got started because I was in a band with Weez. Um, it was called... Um, yes. I can't say the... Oh, was the it next Butcher Audacity and the Orgy of Death? Please. It was the one before <laughs> that. Which one was that? Groovy Hate. <laughs> Groovy Hate Fuck? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think you could say that. Yeah, you said that. I already said fuck. Oh, so okay. this, is, this ain't on TV. Or if it is, it's public access and like... Currently, public access law allows you to to use vulgarities under its current incarnations as it stands. So you don't got to beep nothing out if this goes on uh -huh. the public airwaves. <laughs> well, we deserve free So it's cable. Right. Big game. But I remember, like, we <laughs> like, hyping you guys up, saying, man, these guys are out of control there. And I'm like, oh, okay, it sounds good. I'll open up for them. And... Uh, I don't know, I just remember we threw a bunch of stuff at the audience, the audience threw a bunch of stuff at me, and then next thing you know, Goat Lord's... What was Goat Lord doing? You talk about it, this is like, this is like, probably, uh, YouTube or something, or... This, this ain't broadcast television, you can tell the whole story. Alright, I think he was getting fisted on stage or something like that. <laughs> probably by, uh, the other Goat, the younger Goat Lord. No, I think it was his girlfriend. Hmm. So it was, yeah, it was, it was mm -hmm. pretty crazy. Well, yeah. well, you got to keep that opening large enough to shoot vegetables out, of it. <laughs> like you know it. Go Finley. <laughs> <laughs> You're a little bit too low. You need to be there. That's better. <laughs> I'm the I'm an audio and embshbanamaneer. So, but yeah, I just remember you guys were great, and you know you really rocked the mic and. Uh, I don't know. It, it, it was pretty out of hand, and then then it was orgy to death. And I do remember throwing like a bunch of dirty mags at the audience. The next oh, I remember that. I think I might have part. Weren't they like pages from dirty magazines? Or their entire yeah. dirty magazines? <laughs> I don't know. Are but there they pages? Were, were, was, there, was there some like man on man action in some of them? <laughs> I don't think it was man on man. Oh, action. that was us. We used to we'd go down to I used to go down to Chippewa <laughs> Street when it was cool. Uh, before it sucks, like it sucks now. Is that cool now? Got, right. uh, got gentrified. They used to, it used to be desolate. It was like what I liked. That's, yeah, the, the hookers it was used like, to put their milk on the It was like a desert, still. except uh. for a few little buildings. And there were like porno stores in some of them. And there was one where you could get this grab bag of little porno digests for about like five of them for two dollars and i'd go and buy them and there were like some that were like these man-on-man -man ones with like like <laughs> two cowboys and shit before the broke back oh mountain my God. and i <laughs> I there were just photos of like some dudes like getting it on like. and shit and i would like rip them out uh just the pages and we would throw them at the audience so people could have a souvenir to take home and tack on their wall. Titillating. And yeah. Mm -hmm. We didn't want to give them the regular old vanilla right. hetero Realized. porn, which victimizes all involved. We wanted to give them the empowered and empowering man-on-man -man pornography. Nobody gets pregnant. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I never know. Uterus abdominal, transplant. Abdominal pregnancies. But do you remember the second bite. show how the the one guy that was like doing the sound like actually had a gun? <laughs> what? what? He had a gun? Yeah, he had a gun. The sound guy. I don't guy had remember a gun. the guy having a gun, but he pr uh, that sounds that sounds possible. Yeah, and and I remember too. Um, Colt forty. I remember Dave. Does Brand. it every time. Bow. <laughs> Dave Brandt was there. And my Colt forty five sign. Did Double that get barrel. Do I still have my Colt forty five sign, or did that get sold? Billy D. Williams. <laughs> I had one. I had one hanging in my living room. It was a really nice Colt forty five sign from a from a store. Oh, that's on the sink. That's on your mom's bar sink. The Colt forty five sign still exists. Big glass bulb. No, that's Budweiser with the pheasants. Mm. And then I remember, like, Dave Brandt was there and El Duce, and they were, like, throwing garbage at us. We ended up throwing garbage at them, and, yeah, it was kind of kind of a blur of, like, activity, <laughs> you know? Like it was a good old like garbage days. CDs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have known that garbage. Buffalo was more like a utopia back then? Right. <laughs> and, right. And you didn't know it. We didn't. I didn't know it. I didn't know it either. And Youth is wasted yeah. on the young. Didn't know it was going to turn into... Piece of shit. Yeah, it's gentrified <laughs> uh, nightmare. Right, it's like, where would you even go to see bands like us? 
Yeah. They don't even exist. Okay. The WBNY panel of the bands, wherever <laughs> Pamazon is, only one band there was like a BNY band. The rest were like, like bar band, blues rock, and like hippie jam bands. They oh, did what man. they did okay, People did well, but they the weren't basement. like WBNY bands. Mm -hmm. They right. weren't like right. the alternative new wave-ish punk rock or even like underground metal type of anything, really. Well, there's literally. There's literally was, basement shows, but you risk getting sick. You know, we got so fucking sick with you? bronchitis and. Where you are? Then oh, uh, because of the. Where are the picture? Oh, I'm in the profile now. Yes, you're in profile. And then there was the rat, the house of the rats. I mean, there's, you can still have your underground scene. I like you rats. Risk the pestilence and the plague. That's that's punk. <laughs> You know, speaking about rats, I remember like last winter it was so bad that I remember like over by the co-op I saw this rat come out from underneath like, you know, one of the dumpsters and I'm like, hey buddy! You know, I was hey, so happy. Merman. I was happy to see it. I mean, it was so oppressive with the snow and now you guys are going to be flying off to Hawaii there, you know. Yeah, you, ski you see skinny rats now. They got those tall garbage cans. Some, some right. rats are big as cats. <laughs> some you got to be fit to go up the garbage can. So they got to go cheek to walk to eat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, since they all got booted out of the super flea when they knocked it down. That's why cheek to walk, I had to get the garbage totes soon after, if you notice. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it works. when they started working on the psych center, we had a bunch of rats in our neighborhood because they kind of like scared them out of the Richardson sure. building. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or when they knocked on the grain mills in uh, Kenmore. You're the Salvation Army. Oh, yeah. Or many of my friends' fathers live because they're professional alcoholics. <laughs> Not amateurs. <laughs> dry drunks. <laughs> dry oh, rum. Man. You know about dry drunks, right? They're still alcoholics, but they don't <laughs> drink. And they usually live in these wonderful shelters like the Salvation <laughs> Army on Military Road. I had a friend whose father lived there. Uh, that is funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a term, dry drunk. <laughs> yeah, that was used for one of my friends, but I won't name her on, on TV there. <laughs> Can you tell us how you met, Mr. Ski Mask? Well, I first... Uh, move your mic's right too close. Okay. Farther, I first, farther away. Farther away? Like this. No, you sound good. You sound Five really fingers. Good. Oh, go ahead. I first met Ski Mask. Like, now you're too low. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Micromanagement. I know, right? Use your ears. <laughs> Use your ears, not your eyes, when you, when you uh, engineer audio. I first saw Ski Mask basically like on uh, public access about like a couple years ago, I think like seven years ago. I just like, who's this crazy guy with a mask on? Like, he's talking all this crazy stuff, but I was too young to understand at the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm too old to understand it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah. You better I just, understand it. Like, sometimes I would just like preview the show, see what it's about. So, oh, it's pretty cool. And then one day I saw my cousin Rock Nuts, who was just here before a couple minutes ago. He would, he told me he was going to be on the, uh, Greg Sterling show. I was like, who is that? And he said, watch it. And I did watch it that night. And I was like, oh, the ski mask guy. And I saw Pamazon on there too. And I was like, oh, wow, man. You know, because they were getting pretty famous at the time. And that's how I got to know uh, Ski Mask, basically. And got to know him now as well. I didn't even know he was Ski Mask when he first walked in. I thought he was just a normal guy, but hey, got the mask on and everything. He's also a producer of music, right? You, 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 you know I'm a producer of music. a lot of music. You have a great synth collection, which I don't know if you still have it. I have part of it. One of my bands. Yeah. I have a portion of the synth collection. Did you keep Some of it had this? to be sacrificed to the fire goddess Pele, but I hope to, uh, who was responsible for the Atari Pele's soccer cartridge. Do you still have the, <laughs> the blue Moog? With like the orange? I have all the Moogs, yes. Oh. Yeah, the source. That's the Moog source you're talking about. Yep. The silver one with the blue membrane keys. Yep. I still have that. I didn't get what I commanded for it, so I, it didn't get sold. Oh. How much you want for The Moog Source, I would want 1500 for. Oh, shit. No wonder. That's from the 70s. <laughs> now this way. Hey, it's a rarity. Yeah. You take credit cards. <laughs> you take credit cards? <laughs> I'd be a beast. Actually. <laughs> it's on a boat now, right? No, the Moog Source is a... That's a Janet's. <laughs> but when I so first Tom had Ski Mask, uh -huh. he was... Maskless. Maskless. And I said, "Your ski mask." He was she so barged into so the so dressing room. Demure. Right. <laughs> no, you were over at the counter there. That's a dressing room. And his little pterodactyl arms. <laughs> that's a bro, that's like, a dressing room. And he goes, "Yeah, mm -hmm. hi." <laughs> it was really cute. It was like, yeah, like I was afraid of me. <laughs> that's so scary, right, Windsor? <laughs> 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 that's funny. <laughs> 
Uh, do you think we can get Tom Windsor to come on and say goodbye to you? Is he around still? Oh. Ask him if he wants to come on and say goodbye. Hey, remember when you were going to play Zippers? We did. Oh, we played Zippers once, but the second time, the police, the Vice Squad found out and they shut us down. Not Vice Squad, the good band, but the Vice Squad from the Buffalo Fascist Department. Right. Yeah. I remember that because I remember all, all of us like yeah. were heading no for there. And what was that other band you guys were playing with? <laughs> Sissy Bar. Sissy featuring Bar. The infamous Chris Nab. Right. Yeah. And Bill Scott. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Two first names. So confusing. <laughs> <laughs> Good old days. We've got a lull in activity here. And I got to admit, that show at the show place was like awe inspiring. Yeah. The one where like Jesus came and he got whipped. Yeah, that's the one that uh, got us banned from that shithole till it closed. <laughs> we, we could have opened for Integrity and Lifetime, two oh, really wow. big hardcore bands, and I'm sure they would have liked what we did, and we probably would have got some sort of record deal out of that. So we constantly got cheated out of any chance we ever had, and it was completely heartbreaking, and the potential of that band was totally wasted, and I am still heartbroken over it and always will be. But you're not going to be a yeah, victim but, for the rest of your life. But at least probably, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but at least you left like a good memory of like that show. I still remember like uh, I remember that paper mache penis that was bouncing yes. around. And you guys like oh, castrated it. Those. Oh. oh no, it was a giant one. It was a life-size penis tube that a human could fit in, and the sh the head fit over your head, and the shaft was your body, and you put your arms through it. And yeah, they played they well, played that was, at your party last night. <laughs> Did you see the video for that? Yeah. It was, reminds me of my that Pac Man was, costume in fourth grade. That was for Pac Man was uh, fourth grade? He did a Pac Man costume. That's, That's cute. It was really good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, out of, out of an appliance box. And my buddy Disco Doyler got all excited about all the male nudity during that show. Did he cream his shorts? I don't know. I wasn't going to ask him. <laughs> Jenny Cremail. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Jenny? <laughs> Jenny. You know who Jenny is. She's the spokesmodel of Genesee Beer. You going to be copy? I could spin her up on my Blade Runner device. Well, she, was, she was older for, older of a sex symbol, which is surprising even now. But is she still living? Probably. She wasn't a, uh, a young duckling. Mm -hmm. The Jenny. She was on television. Mm -hmm. she, was, she was the spokesmodel of Genesee Beer. I don't know if she, any. She had a bad facelift. You know, like that kind oh, of a weird, a little bit of weird face, kind of. Is it just me? You know, my dad's buddy Frank Renzi. He drank nothing <laughs> but Jenny it. Beer. You look like Fozzie Bear. He makes that face sometimes. <laughs> 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 it's a good thing. <laughs> There's Jenny. Tell me that isn't great. <laughs> Oh, he's asked for Jenny. I guess that's why Frank asked <laughs> yep, for her. asked for Jenny. That's a looker right there, too. Yeah. Jenny's a looker. See, viewer? Uh, she might be a hooker, though. I don't know. <laughs> no, the viewer's mom's a hooker. <laughs> Jenny's the looker. Viewer's mom's a hooker. She's a fisher woman? The viewer's, but the viewer's sister, she puts out with two holes, but not the third, because then she'll be a virgin until when she, when she marries the spawn, the spawn maker. Spawn of Spock? Yeah. The spawn maker. <laughs> Hmm. Did we get everybody who has attended? <laughs> no, we didn't get Tom. How could we persuade Tom to come on the air? Does he not come? Does he not want to come on? Offer him a dollar. Well, let's ask. A dollar. A dollar or five. I don't think that's gonna work. I don't know. People do a lot for money. <laughs> oh, he went to get his food. Who do you have food? I want hey, food. If you bring it, if you have pizza, bring it to me, please. Where's I'm the hungry. pizza? There's a whole vat of. Or that peanut butter. That's shake. Richard's. Or that peanut butter shit. That's Richard's got. private stash. <laughs> you can't just drink Richard's <laughs> private stash. You ever mix peanut butter and garlic? Never did. It's actually surprisingly tasty together. Uh, you can do that at that place, Chi Burger, Chi Burger, where the car really drove through it's window. Weird. It's like a sweet. <laughs> they have all weird sour. toppings. You can put sour, jelly and peanut and butter, Teen garlic, salty. and yeah, it avocados and Very jalapenos. Weird. You ever try pickles and uh, chocolate? All, all that shit together. Sounds pretty fetid. Tastes pretty good, though. I want a burger. Yeah, it tastes now. pretty good. Like you gotta take the pickle and then you gotta put chocolate over it and you put it in the oven and it tastes good. Oh, you bake it. Yeah, you bake a it chocolate basically. pickle. 
You have chocolate pickle, basically. You bake it. Mm. Good God. I That's swear very to God. creative. It sounds good. <laughs> it's good, though. Jeez. All right. <laughs> I got a green shirt on like a pickle. <laughs> Well, it's a good thing you don't have a red shirt, because we know what happens to people in red shirts. What? Like the Bloods and the Crips? No, <laughs> like in Star Trek, <laughs> when they go All on right. the planet. Okay, second day. So, in Star Trek, the Crips always win. Oh, Windsor? <laughs> the Crips. <laughs> I'm a Star Wars fan. <laughs> I guess Scotty's hey. the biggest Crip there is. <laughs> <laughs> Captain's log. <laughs> The ship can't hold, Captain. Pamzilla. Pamzilla. Hey, can somebody get me some more fruit of the vine? <laughs> like the, uh, the the wonderful song by, they're called the Fireballs. They're on Philip Records uh, from the 60s. I knew what the red shirts were. That's what I was yelling. The Crips? The Crips oh, no, no, the Bloods. <laughs> the Bloods are red, the Crips no, are Star blue. Trek. Star Trek. Yeah. Star Wars. So Star on Star Wars. Trek, Star Trek has a bias for the Crips. Apparently. Right? Uh, no, because they're always dying. No, the blue shirts are the Crips. Oh. The blood's obviously blood, red, you know, <laughs> the red shirt. I was <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know what he's talking about, but I'm going to go with it. <laughs> I'll go with it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Well, this, keep, oh, this one's good. That's good. Cody's this has got to be. Uh, which one is this? Gannarly head 1924? Gimme, 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 gimme. Give me more. Hey, gimme, 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 gimme. Don't get oh, too good. Gimme That's like Jim Jones juice. That's purple and shit. Look how purple that is. <laughs> Flavor aid. <laughs> purple stain. Hey, what's your favorite play? Prince died. What's your favorite Prince song? I would die for you. That's a great one. Oh, I, purple I, I, rain because okay. I've covered it. I he died of a, you, I like that. That. I think a, a drug overdose or a heart attack or something. Then, uh, did they Have say they what he died yet? from yet? Yeah, I, I think they did. I think Warner Brothers. Resign. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, Warner Resign. Brothers killed him. It was Warner Brothers who killed him. Right there, right there. Someone yeah, was the saying that Sony... Look it up. Look it up. I don't think we'll ever there was a conspiracy theory about what? Sony and Michael Jackson. Yeah, because he had got his catalog back. It on the mm -hmm. news today. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, he got his full catalog of everything he owned, everything he wrote, basically back. And, you know... Oh, so when, is that what Jordan When companies can't about? pimp you out, you know, they kill you. <laughs> corporations. Yeah. Hillary loves the corporations. She takes many donations from the corporations. <laughs> well, Gaza, do. don't forget Gaza. Bernie doesn't. I know, and I like Bernie. What about Ted yes. Cruz? We got Cruz I'm fans. Red, just like you. You're red. You filthy I'm red. I'm green. I voted for Nader multiple times. Oh, yeah, Nader. <laughs> the Green Revolution. Nader's awesome. Did they find out yet, green. Richard? Green. You it's still amazing. have a bumper sticker, Pam. If you sticker, type Pam. on Google cause, it yeah. suggests cause of Prince death. Really? Yes. Wow. Oh, wow. That's amazing. That's well, what's it say? What's it say killed him? No, I was, no. It says it's going gonna, it's gonna to be weeks before the cause of death is announced. Oh, oh, oh wow. shit. It's like, it's like the Marilyn Monroe thing. Didn't she die of it? Didn't she All right, now pills? what's your f okay? She your favorite purple Prince purple song? Purple. We got your favorite Prince song. How about you, Pamazon? You got purple rain. Purple vein. Purple rain. Purple vein. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about you, Mr. Miles? I have to say, uh, when I was a kid, I would I would play Little Red Corvette on the record player. <laughs> no, Little Red. Hey, show Miles, uh, cause like I want to get his reaction little here. Little Red Corvette. Just gotta get in the screen, bud. <laughs> Did you know Little Red Corvette is about the clitoris? <laughs> really? I didn't. It is. It is. I put it yeah. on a car, honestly. No, it's not. It's a clo It's like a. It's like metaphor. It's is poetic. Like when the it's not, it really is. It truly <laughs> is. <laughs> like when the original Greg Thank you, Tom. Oh, oh sir. yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yes. Come on and say your goodbyes, and then we'll finish the video. We'll, we'll eat some pizza. Thanks. Oh, it's the best pizza ever. Partner's Somebody pizza. Better than Diva's. Head. Sexual partner's pizza. <laughs> hey, Mr. Gonna... Wait, before we... Is this be like when the original Greg Sterlis kept saying Pink Cadillac was about butt sex? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Mr. <laughs> There's a chocolate starfish like the, that horrible <laughs> band, the Limp Biscuit. Hey, Mr. Uh, oh. Butch Audacity, what's your favorite Prince song? It's either Delirious or um, Raspberry Beret. I'd have to say, okay, now everybody wants to know my favorite. Oh, what's your favorite ski mask? Where am I? I'm not, yeah, I'm not on the screen, got, and uh, I'm not going to say it till I'm on the Rock screen. Nuts. My up, favorite guys? Prince song is Erotic yeah. City. Ah. You know that? You know Erotic City? Have you heard Erotic Which City, one? Mr. Richard? Is, it's great. Is Temptation that from the album Talk Dirty? Too. From Miles. Isn't, it, on, isn't it actually on Purple Rain? Yeah. Ah. 
How about you? What's your oh, favorite no. Prince Let me see what the no. frick album. Would you let Tom have your headset? Everybody He's going to say goodbye. Kiss. We're going to wrap this up. Okay. Kiss. It's about Knights and Satan's service, the great rock band. Don't have to be rich. Yeah. Be my Erotic City, see come alive. Erotic City. Now, Mr. Windsor, did yes. you meet? We were talking about how we all met. Ski mask. Did you That's meet him so through to the Let's Greg Sterling show? I, yes, I met him on the Greg Sterling show. And uh, and and the Red Hen. And what year would that be about? Probably about ten years ago. Huh. Now, uh, you then set up the uh, TV studio in his basement. Did yeah, you ever give that a name? Out of here. Yeah. Huh. It was called. It was part of. It was a video auxiliary part of the electric pumpkin patch. It was also the home of the past. Yes. Home of the past. And now you're going to be setting it up and working with Pam. Mama Ski Mask's house. Yeah, he's going to go to the original source. My mother's like ten thousand times crazier than me. She's the OG it's Ski true. Mask. Yes. <laughs> She's like ten times hotter than you too. Yeah. Right. You're, are you going to come over? You come over and pay my mom's a visit, Mr. R Schlocknuts? I'm going to come and help her around the house. Yeah, you, you, go, you come and help my mom's around the house, Mr. Schlocknuts. You do that, son. You do that good. You do it right and proper. You do it well, son. You know what I'm saying? You bring it proper to the mama ski mask. Oh! And Pamazon going to be the new hostess. Because this, 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 this. they brought back the hostess Twinkies. And they brought back the... Did they bring back snowballs? I don't think I so. Like I, I do I, like snowballs. I miss snowballs. Yeah, snowballs are good. With the pink. And did they bring back the... You uh, like mine, then. You would like mine. And they're pink? Yeah. You did leave your dick in my car, and it was pink as well. So, yeah. Is it still there? Are they pink poodle snowballs? I don't know if it's deflated, if it's still there. You gave away with the autograph. Mr. Ski Mask, would you like to say your farewell to the people of Buffalo? All right, you losers. You once had a great city when it was smaller. It was smaller like your dad's peen peen. And you know, men with small peen peens don't need them, so we got to get a, we got to remove them in a, a surgical procedure called penectomy at the Ski Mask Castration Clinic located deep in the cellar of the High Tone Lounge within Riverside. But that's another story. I got my bull studs working overtime to impregnate your wife. This is after we turn you into poodle bitches. And, um, but you know, you know what else? Well, that's a, that's a goodbye to the people of Riverside, which is a separate republic from B Buffalo Hole. All right, Buffalo Hole, you once had a great city. You once had things like, uh, you had the funeral home, best venue you that had, Merlin's. Great. That was another great venue yep. when the, the Kurt Rotterdam did the shows there. You once had the best flea market in the universe, the holiest land on earth. You had the super flea, but that was Chictawaga. But... Western New York, I would have to say, because people, idiots in Buffalo, someone said, someone wrote to me on the face mask book. They says, we don't care, you shouldn't care if Superflea's gone because it's, it's the suburbanites and they're going to have the corporate sprawl because suburbanites suck. And I says, Western New York functions as a whole unit, a cohesive unit. Like, eunuch? yeah, like a eunuch, yes. <laughs> <laughs> And you once had great things like the original George's Texas Hots. You had the your host family restaurants. You had the Buffalo Drive-In that you turned into a frickin' medical park. Hey, Tom, what three movies play at the medic at the uh, Buffalo Drive-In now? You know the three of them. There's Urology. There's urology. Yes. <laughs> cancer Care. Yes. And I always forget the third one. I always forget the third one, too. There's Probably heart stuff. No. No. No? Uh, they urology. have no heart. Urology. Urology. Neurology? No. No. Colonoscopy. But they have like the eye oh, care place that does the laser <laughs> eye shit there. Gastroenterology. That's, yeah, that's next door. Gastroenterology? I don't know. Nephrology. We should look that up. I'm going to do all <laughs> the <laughs> allergies. Gastroenterology. Well, you once had the best flea market in the universe. <laughs> <laughs> then you had a freaking Walmart kill it. You got to remember they knocked on the Owl Lounge, too. Owl Lounge, yeah, and Jafafa Hots. That's the Prussian Corner. There used to be Jafafa Hots, the Owl Lounge, and the Buffalo Drive. And, and whenever I drive past that, I get into such a deep depression first thing Saturday morning that I can't recover until Monday morning. Then I go to my dead-end job because no, there's no jobs in That's Buffalo that are worth working. Everyone I know in Buffalo who 
works a job here hates it. Everybody without exception. I don't care what freaking field they're in, what they do, how much they make, they hate their fucking job. The city is a hotbed of negativity. It's built on cursed burial ground of some sorts, I am sure. The feeling I get when I'm in downtown Buffalo is the most rottenest feeling ever. Oh, it's horrible. But uh, my friend you once had a great yeah. city. I was trying to put your your stinking music scene on the map with my masterful recording because I'm like the Alan Parsons of West Trent, New York, and everybody knows <laughs> that. It, I might have a big ego, but it's well deserved because I've mastered my craft like craft work. <laughs> You're the only other person I would trust to record record besides myself, and that's a high Thank compliment. You. Thank you. You're welcome. High in quotation marks. There's a lot of shit so-called recording engineers around here. The rest of you fuckers that are here, I don't respect your work. It sounds like shit. I haven't heard anything good from anyone else other than myself and Pamazon uh, come out of this fucking city. So you can you can be left to your uh, mediocrity. Right. Yeah, you might not never, come ever. <laughs> yes. Uh. <laughs> and you're also... Very talented musician and very talented at host Layton, the Tellermer Vision, which is why I'm going to pass to the mantle of the Greg Spurlack show, which was passed to me long ago, on to you. Well, on that note, let's go get some pizza. All right. Let's get some. She, she's good at Yeah, we still have good pizza here, thank. What am I thank, <laughs> Booty popping. Thank uh, Odin. Uh, Odin, yes. We're going to start an Odinist church. At least we've got a Scientology uh, temple. That's a plus because I want to go clear. Like Crystal Pepsi and Jacob's Ghost. I hope this is still taping. <laughs>